Hey guys, welcome to another lunch hour review. Today I'm going to try one of these new uh, Banquet Mega Meats. This one is the Buffalo uh, Buffalo Style Boneless Strips. It is breaded white meat chicken patty strips coated in sauce with macaroni and cheese. That's what it looks like. Um, it's 33 grams of protein, 13.2 ounce meal or 374 grams. Uh, it's frozen, 640 calories for the whole thing. We bought these at Walmart. It's pretty cheap, two dollars and ninety-seven cents. So three bucks for a pretty good size meal. Um, like I said, six hundred forty calories. And there's your other info for you. So it does have oven directions right there. If you want to do it in the ovens, of course we don't do ovens, but there they are if you want them. It looks really good. Um, okay, so remove the film from the meal. Remove the chicken strips. Microwave on high for one minute. Replace the chicken strips and microwave for two minutes. Stir macaroni and cheese and rearrange chicken strips and microwave for an additional two and a half to three minutes. Check the food is cooked thoroughly because you've got a thermometer and you're going to measure it. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's stand for two minutes and enjoy. So, eh. nope, no perforated strips. It's going to fight with the glue. Yeah. Alright, okay, so it did say remove it completely, right? Yeah, remove film from meal. So you're gonna take the whole thing off. Put it in the box. Ooh, it smells like buffalo chicken. I'm gonna get me a paper towel and take these chicken strips off. That's how thick they are, by the way. Alright, so I'm gonna get this in the microwave, do everything they were saying to do, and uh, I'll be back. Alright, okay, so here it is out of the microwave, and you can see the Chicken looks pretty good. It's not crispy by any means. I'm sure if you put it in the oven, it would get crispier. But um, I do have to let it set for two minutes too. So it may, it may crisp it up a little bit. Not crisp, but it may dry out a little bit more. And the macaroni, I'm just going to give it a good stir. It looks good. It smells good. I do have to say that. It's a typical um, buffalo chicken smell. And the macaroni and cheese smells like, you know, macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to let this cool off for a minute. It's supposed to sit for two minutes, so I'm going to let it do that at least. It may let it go to another minute just to cool off, and I'll be back. Okay, I gave it just a few more minutes to cool off. I'm not super long period of time, but I did, I did cut up one of the pieces of chicken, so it's a little easier to eat for the video. Normally, I'd just stab it and eat all of it, um, but since I'm doing a video, it's a little easier if I cut it. So here's the macaroni and cheese. I'm going to try it first. That tastes... Mostly like your typical box macaroni and cheese, like the with the powder. Yeah, the flavors are pretty close to like a box macaroni and cheese. Um, they taste a little saltier than a box macaroni and cheese, but um, but the flavors of the cheese itself is that typical powder cheese. Still good though. The pasta is a little soft for me. And I like mine a little on the firmer side than instead of the softer side of, of done. Uh, these are a little, they're not quite to the point of being mushy, but they're getting there. They're like heading that direction. So I'm going to try a piece of the chicken. Like I said, I cut it into smaller pieces. Pretty thin. Um, the breading isn't um, crispy at all. It's kind of just stuck on there. It's dry though. It did dry out letting it sit, but it isn't um, crispy at all. Like I said, if you put it in the oven, it's probably going to crisp up a little bit. I don't know how much, but it'll crisp up some. I'm more curious if I get that buffalo flavor. I get the, the, the burn, the tingle in the back of my throat more so than I actually get the flavor of the buffalo. And I can't tell if these, the, if it's been reprocessed. Hold on. I can't tell if the chicken's been like ground up and then processed in the patty shapes or if it's actually slices of chicken. I think it's actually sliced chicken. It doesn't seem to be like that reprocessed uh, grainy ground up texture. So that's a good thing. I'm disappointed that it doesn't have more of the buffalo chicken flavor. I'm gonna try a bite of macaroni and cheese and the buffalo. 
be brave. Hmm. I like the flavor of those combined. The, um, the buffalo, you really get more of just the heat. You get a little bit of that buffalo flavor, you know, that typical peppery kind of vinegary flavor. Um, you get a little bit of that, but it's not very strong. It's mostly just heat and you get a little chicken flavor. Most of the flavor is in the macaroni and cheese. The macaroni and cheese, again, box macaroni and cheese. Um, I think this meal is good for the price, three bucks. Um, you got a ton of food. It's definitely gonna fill you up. Um, I probably won't eat all this, but um, but it'll definitely fill you up if you wanna eat it all. It's no big deal. I used to eat them all. Um, just know that the buffalo flavors are just not that strong. It's there, just not strong enough. I wish those flavors were much stronger. I'd, I'd rather take a notch down on the heat and give it more flavor than, than have the heat and no flavor or little flavor. I'm gonna give it a three out of five just because there's there's things they could do to increase or make it better. Um, the buffalo chicken is the biggest failing point for this, or not failing, falling point, I guess, is uh, is there's just not enough flavor. The macaroni cheese, it's good. It's just your typical cheap macaroni cheese. So, said that a bunch of times, just to let you know. Um, See, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. It's your average everyday meal for three bucks. Definitely worth buying. It's definitely comfort food. Uh, if you wanna get it, go for it. I think you'd be happy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.